Okay, so me and Scott here, we're on our last leg over to Australia. So we've departed out of Bali this morning. We're on our way over to, uh, to Broome to clear customs, but it's quite important for us here that we make sure that we have our top of descent and our pre-spray for when we get into Australia. Now it does say on there to uh, to spray inside the cabin and uh, you know don't breathe in the fumes, which is going to be a little bit difficult, really. But we do have um, our masks here, so we're actually going to use these masks to see if we can actually stop ourselves from breathing breathing in the fumes. The we could use the uh, the oxygen mask as well, but we don't really want to use those. Um, so uh, so yeah, so when we get to Australia, we basically got to show. Uh, the customs and immigrations guys and whoever else is going to be there that we're actually spraying the spray inside the aeroplane. So that's what we're going to do when we get to the aircraft uh, or get to the airport. Got to spray it before we open the doors. But uh, yeah, on our way to Australia. So it should be there in uh, just under an hour. So looking forward to it. Started our descent now into... Australia into Broome, first sight of the uh, Australian coastline. Fantastic, and we're about 18 minutes out, just started our descent, just planning our arrival into Broome. Clear to a minute 2000, Lima Oscar Hotel. India for Parker Beck, taxi heavy lift and monitor ground, see ya. Taxi heavy lift and monitor ground, India for Parker Beck. Liam Roscoe Hotel, are you ready for immediate departure? Liam Roscoe Hotel, I first. Liam Roscoe Hotel, at Echo Runway 10, line up. At Echo Runway 10, line up, Liam Roscoe Hotel. Altitude. Thank you. Roscoe Hotel, request an early left turn. I need a mile still applies. Direct to Broome, uh, Whiskey Golf at 4,000 and limit 9 miles. So, limit Whiskey Quebec. The car 4, will there be a follow me vehicle for uh, the aircraft on final? Hey, Tim, I'll be the follow me vehicle uh, waiting at Charlie when we're free. Roger. Minimums, minimums. Kilo Fox Echo, report your distance, Brim. 117, me, Kilo Fox Trot. 958 Alpha Golf. Kilo Fox Echo, report leaving an amended 2000 for onwards tracking. Kilo Fox Echo. November 58 Alpha Golf. The vehicle just off to your left hand side is a follow me vehicle. Follow them to parking. Good day. We'll follow the vehicle to parking. Not follow that Alpha Golf. Thanks for your help. Good day. Whiskey Quebec. For something specific, report crossing the 327 bearing with your distance for descent. We'll go Limbo Whiskey Quebec. So we made it, Australia. Scott's just putting in our next flight plan to head over to Alice Springs, but we uh, we got here no problem at all. Customs have sorted us out, so have the, uh, the Australian government to make sure that we sprayed the aeroplane inside and everything, so they watched us do that. But uh, yeah, we're all ready to go on our next leg over to Alice Springs. So we're gonna stop there the night and then uh, head off to Gold Coast in the morning.
Australia now. We're in uh, Western Australia, about to come towards the Northern Territories, and then into Queensland. We've uh, on our way to Mount Isa. We couldn't get any hotel rooms in uh, Alice Springs, so we're coming to Mount Isa instead. But um, there's a whole lot of nothing out here. We're flying along and sort of looking out the window, but a whole lot of nothing. So we'll be in Mount Isa in a couple of hours. It's quite a long trip actually, it was nearly a thousand miles, but we've got a little bit of a headwind, one of the first of the trip, and uh, so we'll be in there in a couple of hours with a decent reserve of fuel. So, enjoying what we can see, which is not a lot. Singapore 245, Senna. Descending now into Mount Isa. Yes, Singapore 245. Nice uh, three degree path bring us all the way down from our cruise altitude down straight into the approach, stepping ourselves down, everything's activated, it should uh, just about be dark when we get on the ground actually because it's uh, already gone past sunset on the ground, we're still three miles high so it should pretty much be dark when we get down. Sun is setting behind us, see the orange of the land, some green as well. Right, out of the uniform now, we're in Australia, uh, so I don't feel that I need to be wearing my bars and things now, so uh, we Mount Isa, about three hour flight down to Gold Coast, weather's beautiful here, not so great in the Gold Coast, there's a bit of a low pressure system creating some winds and some uh, clouds and a bit of rain, so I expected to go into a beautiful sunny weather on the Gold Coast of Australia, but in fact that's not going to be what it's like. So anyway, we're going to get some fuel, top up the Cirrus, the Vision Jet, and uh, head on further eastbound into uh, Gold Coast, where the delivery will be complete. So we made the executive decision to come into Charleville, uh, which is uh, probably about an hour away from Gold Coast. The weather up ahead was uh, giving some severe turbulence. We were hearing the airlines uh, 
up between 34 and 36,000 uh, or even 40,000 were getting uh, pretty severe turbulence. Also, there was an icing sigmet as well. So we were going to be on sort of the reserve limits uh, on the aircraft by the time we got to Gold Coast. So if we had any problems and had to divert around weather or divert somewhere else, then it would have been sort of quite problematic. So we decided to um, leave uh, our route towards uh, Gold Coast and come into Charleville, which is about uh, three, 400 miles short of where we want to be, but it was like a 900 mile leg. So we've stopped here, picking up a bit of fuel, and that gives us a, a lot, lot better options uh, when we arrive at Gold Coast, if we do need to divert. So that's a, that's a, a good, wise decision. And uh, we just filled the aircraft and we'll be ready to head off to Gold Coast very shortly. Gold Coast now. We did make that stop in Charleville for some fuel and we did go up to um, flight level 250 for the uh, leg across to Gold Coast but just far too choppy up there, really really turbulent so we've come down to flight level 210 now and it's uh, nice and smooth. We do have uh, another segment of icing up ahead but we've had no reports from any aircraft with the icing so we're, we're pretty confident we should be okay with that but 55, 54 minutes to run into Gold Coast. We made the uh, right decision to stop at Charleville for a bit of fuel. Gives us many, many more options. So, all looking good so far, and we should be there in just over 50 minutes or so. Killing Delta, top descent, contact center 122 decimal 1. 122 decimal 1, top of the third, killing. So who'd have thought coming into the Gold Coast? On the eastern coast of Australia. This will be the first time that we might be suffering from bad weather coming in on the approach. And also even the possibility of getting ice on the aeroplane. So the aircraft's come all the way across from the US, across Greenland and Iceland and everything, and there's been no issue with icing whatsoever. So um so Coming we into the Gold Coast. TKS on once, and uh, <laughs> so therefore we we might be suffering a little bit with this uh, with this little bit of weather. Just passing fifteen thousand, or flight level one five three. Shortly going to be entering cloud. Nine five eight Alpha Golf December start of nine a thousand Q and H is a one zero one eight. Send by the star to 901018. I forgot. So we're heading down. Got the engine IPS on. Put the probes on. Make sure the pitot heats are on. I'm going to keep an eye on the wings as we come down into the cloud. Minus nine outside at the moment. So I keep an eye on that to make sure that we don't get any ice on the wings. Or if we do, we use the boots and break it off. November 5 8, Alpha Golf, contact Gold Coast Tower 118 7. Down to Tower 118 7, not perfect, Alpha Golf. Tower not perfect, Alpha Golf, established on the RNP Zulu runway 14. Alpha Golf, Gold Coast Tower, g'day. <laughs> g'day. And that's it. On up to 180, we'll get that flap out in a minute. There's not far to go on this actually. We're going to get the gear out. We need to slow up. Wait, it's not far away. Look at this weather. Amazing. Plenty of rain. Rolling down the windscreen, just establishing the Arnav Zulu approach for runway 14. 
the airport down there somewhere. Airport over there, there we go. Pitch you with that, and it brings you sort of just offset up to the final approach fix. I must need to keep us off the shoreline of Gold Coast, there it is. Last sort of like thousand foot point, it just got you know pretty rough on there. We made it. 
Oxford in the United Kingdom over to Gold Coast on the east coast of Australia. 11,000 miles, just over a week and uh, some amazing adventures, great sights to see. I've caught a flight over to Sydney, going to spend 24 hours here before I catch my flight home. Enjoying the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. So just having a little wander around before I head home on my commercial flight back to the United Kingdom. But if you like the video, then hit the like button. If you really like it, then subscribe to my channel. And there's loads of other videos there of other adventures that I've done in the past. And hit the bell icon as well, and you can see some more videos that I might put up in the future. So hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you again soon.